you're in the UK, welcome back to Adventures with Phil. Way back in 2019, you know, in the before times, I married the amazing Rebecca. We decided we wanted to have a big honeymoon, an adventure in the UK, and then COVID struck. This is our twice delayed story being told in parts. After more than two years of anticipation, planning, cancellations, rebooking, and more planning, we finally hopped in an Uber and began our journey. To be frank, it was surreal driving to the airport as a passenger. You see, I also work at beautiful YVR. After a breeze through security, it was time to find the lounge, have a drink and a snack, and let reality set in. It wasn't long before we were called for boarding. The usual excitement returned with a vengeance. For the first time on a long haul flight, I was flying business class. We used our wipes and cleaned our pods and then explored our seats. There was comfortable sleep set, a good amenity kit, and the touch screen for the seat, the window, and the lighting controls. Next up was a bit of bubbles and a look at the menu for the evening. The new safety video showcases the best of each Canadian province and territory and makes the taxi from gate to runway pass in a flash. We departed on runway 13. It's a rare occasion. I think the only times I've ever taken off from 13 were on super short hops to SeaTac and YYJ. I never expected a Boeing 787 to have such a short takeoff roll. It was incredible to be back in the sky. We didn't take that for granted. Well, here we are. We're on the plane. I can't believe it. 866 days ago, we originally booked this trip on a different carrier. It was supposed to be our honeymoon. We're on our two and a half year anniversary trip now, and we're finally on board. Now, that said, protocols are in place. We're extremely grateful and privileged to be here. And we can't express the gratitude to everyone around us for being vaccinated, for taking care of their sanitation correctly, being respectful to the crews, and of course, being respectful to the other nations that they're traveling to. After a few hours of sleep for me, we jumped on the Heathrow Express to Paddington Station in central London. We had finally made it. It had been four years since I last looked upon the Palace of Westminster. The city is still magical, ever evolving, ever growing, yet still true to her history. England's capital city knows how to welcome some very weary travelers. We checked into our first accommodation for our adventure. The Dixon is located steps away from Tower Bridge in the borough of Southwark. This beautiful former courthouse is well appointed and welcoming. The perfect place to begin our adventure. We cleaned up and set out to catch up with old friends and family over some dinner and a bottle or two of wine. We had a fantastic time and I'm sorry, but we intentionally did not get any footage. Trust me, it was for the best.
The next morning, bleary-eyed and feeling the jet lag, we knew we had to get ourselves out of bed, grab some good coffee, and explore Borough Market. And of course, all that it has to offer. Well, good morning. We started the day off coming here to Burra Market. We needed some very important coffee. The market is just open. It's already starting to bustle with activity. And now we're in search of the elusive Bread Ahead Donuts. We're going to have dessert first because, well, we're on vacation. We can do now whatever we want. So now, let's go find some donuts. So we managed to get some Bread Ahead Donuts. We went there straight away. There was no lineup which obviously is an elusive thing. Now, we got two different types of donuts because, again, we're on vacation. So this one, let me tear this guy open. Patience. This is the vanilla custard. It's full of custardy goodness. Yeah, let's go with that. I'm sorry, there's no pretty way to do this. It's like dancing on little clouds of happiness on my tongue. Okay, so I'm a hot mess right now. But we got the lemon curd as well. Let's see if I can give it the respect it deserves. There we go. Look how beautiful that is. Here goes. I know I'm a mess. So with these donuts, it's worth it. After the sweet treats to begin, we knew there was only one place we wanted to go to, and that was Kappa Case and Dairy for their cheese toasties. So next up, of course for the main course, we're gonna have one of the cheese toasties. how gorgeous this thing is. I took two big bites. It's warm, it's gooey, it's very delicious, very flavorful. And it's, it's everything I hoped for and more. We spent our first couple of days fighting our jet lag, exploring the city, visiting some of my favorite pubs, eating traditional British cuisine, and settling in to our new travel routine. We even took in a West End show. As most places were rather busy, we decided not to pull out the camera and film, as we knew we'd be back in London for a longer stay at the end of the trip. More on that later. We soaked it all in, and we enjoyed every moment. I do have to give a shout out to my sister-in-law, Katie. Thank you for the recommendation of St. Catherine's Dock. We enjoyed every second of that. And just like that, it was already time to make our way to King's Cross train station for the next leg of our journey. We arrived early and had a chance to people watch at platform nine and three quarters. After a quick coffee, it was time for us to board our train to the historic city of York. There's something special about train travel, something I wish we had more of in North America. We made great use of our Burt Rail passes. I highly recommend them for travel throughout the UK. Thanks for watching, and like everyone says, please give us a like, a comment, and please subscribe. We have a bunch more to come from our UK adventure, and we'd love to have you along with us. We'll see you soon from Yorkshire, friends. Take care.